this is David with the Prepper Bookshelf, and uh, I've got a, a book I'm pretty pleased with, and I'm going to turn around and, and show you what it is in just a second, but let me just say this. This isn't a book that I normally would have bought, right? Um, I wouldn't have really sought it out, and, and if I seen it, if I saw it in a catalog, it probably would have triggered my mall ninja reflex, you know, oh, that's, that's for wannabes or whatever. But, uh, you know, I bought some stuff from Palo and Press before, and uh, I get these emails, and when they send me the, the scratched and damaged, where you get books for, you know, 50 to 75% off, something clicks and I just have to spend money, right? And, uh, you know, if I'm going to pay shipping, then I want to get to make my shipping worthwhile. And so I bought this book at a deep discount and it's stamp damaged, even though I really don't see any damage to it, you know. But uh, it was a great book. And what it is, is Techniques of Medieval Armor Reproduction. Okay? It's a blacksmithing book for making armor, you know. We're talking plate armor, you know, old-timey knife jousting stuff, okay? And um, it's, it's, it's pretty, you know, um, complicated, right? My skill level probably is not up to the will. My skill level is not up to this, okay? Um, but there are some things in here that I can do. Uh, particularly talking about the chainmail, right? Um, I think chainmail is an interesting concept. Um, if the world went to, you know, the Walker or uh, uh, Mad Max or Beyond the Thunderdome, whatever, which which probably will never happen, but if it did, you know, I'd spend a good portion of my time making me a big chainmail, you know, suit. It's lighter than, than plate and, and a little better for, for knives. But anyway, that's kind of crazy, but uh, what I like about this book is it's not about making show armor. It's about making period correct workable armor for the, you know, medieval reenactors and the, uh, uh, I don't even know what it's called, but there's a, there's a group of people that actually engage in mock combat, you know, as, as a way of, of showing respect to, you know, the medieval times. And so the armor that this guy's showing you how to make is designed for people that are going to get bashed with swords, right? Uh, and so it talks about how to uh, to make armor that that works good and not just looks good, okay? And and a whole lot of you know how tos and troubleshooting and, and you know how to uh, uh, you know make stuff that that is going to work. You know what kind of things do you need in your workshop? And that is useful. You know, some of the techniques in welding metal on the forge or, you know, cutting or doming and, and you know, polishing, cutting, you know, all these sorts of things are useful to a beginning blacksmith such as, such as myself. Well, I'm kidding, call myself that. A guy that likes beating on metal and, and making something. Uh, so, you know, talking about ball peens and riveters and you know, stakes. Um, like I said, I got this thing at a, at a deep discount, but now that I know what it, what it is and what it's worth, if something happened to my copy, I would go and get this again, you know, even at, at full price, because um, it's not something I'm going to get out every day, but there's definitely, if I have a, a problem, you know, especially what I like, these are the tools that you need. If you want to make this stuff in this book, here's the tools that you need. And it's a list. And, it, and not only it tells you, you know, what it's used for. This is used for cutting. This is used for forming. You know, this is used for joining, for punching. You know, it lets me know a lot of skills, a lot of tools, a lot of needed things that, uh, you know, I might need if I'm going to make some fancy stuff. Because if you can make a suit armor, you can pretty much make whatever you want, right? Um, you know, so great book, worth the price, and if you're a blacksmith or whatever, you ought to probably check it out. So anyway, there you go, and uh, I appreciate it. Until next time, you can always catch online at purplebookshelf.com. Thanks.